Pilishevsky, and joining me today is Alejandro Perales. Is that the correct saying? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. And he's with O.C. Carlson Gracie in Orange, California. And today we're going to do... A hip throw. Good. So hip throws, there's a lot of variations. So we're going to do a few of them, and uh, hopefully it's okay. I'll, I'll throw you, but I'll be nice and gentle. Okay. <laughs> it's that. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab his collar. He's going to grab my collar. I'm going to grab his sleeve. He's going to grab my sleeve. So usually we're starting in a position here. First thing I want to do is I want to shuffle in and I'm going to turn my foot outward and I'm going to let this go. I want to be able to turn my body and pull that shoulder over my shoulder. Right here, his armpit over my shoulder. I want to be my feet together. A lot of times people have their legs right apart. I don't have a lot of lift with my legs apart. I want my feet together. So his back is right against my back. I'm going to grab up, grab the bicep. I'm going to bend my knees and I'm going to bend over. Now the people make a mistake of trying to pull up and hip throw. So when you bring your knees up, you're going to start carrying their weight. It's going to, you're going to start feeling it on your lower back. But if you do it correctly and keep your legs down and just stick your butt out, you'll be able to hold the weight without the pressure of feeling the weight. So I'm coming here, turning in, pulling his shoulder over my cupping this to keep it on me. I'm bending my knees and then I'm sticking my butt out. Now you notice I can stand here forever because the physics of me, the weight is evenly distributed. Now I'm not gonna try to come up and throw him. All I'm gonna do is drop my shoulder and drop my hip. Still controlling, I got the arm. I can step forward and drop and do the arm bar, but I have control of the fall. So the motion I'm showing, I bend my knees, I stick my butt out. And then all I'm doing is like, it's kind of like golfing. I'm golfing. I'm pulling and just turning my hip. They're not throwing, they're rolling. They're rolling off my shoulder. Now you're in a competition, you want to get a little more aggressive, by all means, but you don't want to hurt your friends. So control with the kids especially. We hold the arm, keeping their heads from hitting the mat. It's really important with kids, but with adults, same thing. You want to be able to control. So if I have the arm, I still control the position as he falls. One more time. I'm here, step in. Pull it over my shoulder on my arm, it's not on my shoulder, my step, bend my knees, stick my butt out, turn, and then I can start controlling for the mouth, stepping over for an arm bar, depending on what he does and how he falls. That's version one of a hip throw. The more competitive version, in tournaments you'll see a lot of, is I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna scoop in, but I'm gonna bring, come around and grab the back of the, uh, the belt, the middle of the belt, I'm gonna hit in, and from here I'm gonna push my hip out so I'm really, this one, I really got to emphasize pushing the hip out. And then I'm going to pull him in and bend again. That hip. Now, see, I put my foot too close to him. I fell back. That's fine. So we want to be able to kind of try to fold that face. Let's try that one more time. We're here. I come up, grab his waist, bend my knees. Then come over and start. So really important to keep those knees bent and have a nice strong base. The last one I like to do is usually more of a self-defense tactic when someone grabs me, especially if they're taller. So he grabs my gi, I'm gonna grab his gi, I'm gonna step forward, and I'm gonna throw my elbow around his neck. So sometimes when they're tall, I reach up, I step here, and I'm gonna drop, throwing up over my hip. So always initiating, and the throw happens by the hip. One more time, we'll show all three. One option. Shoulder hip throw, stick the foot out, bend. Very nice. Waist option, more competitive and competition style. Hip in, grab the waist, step over, hip, throw. And then more self defense. When someone's attacking me, grab the waist, step forward, step behind them, and throw. And that's three variations of various versions that are available of hip throw. What do you think, you okay? Yeah. Did I wear it out? You fall awesome, by the way. Awesome. Beautiful guy. Thanks for joining us.